Hello, welcome to the screencast. Um, I just wanted to take your, uh, your data and help you figure out what these equations really are in general. All right, um, so check it out. I'll start with this one, okay? Start with this equation. X final equals 30 centimeters per second squared, right? Times T squared plus 0.8 centimeters, all right? And then its companion equation is V final equals 60, I'm just rounding, centimeters per second per second. Notice the same exact units. I could rewrite this the same way. Why don't I do that? 60 centimeters over one second squared times t plus we've got 0 0.2 centimeters per second. So I'll use this one, I'll use these two as my example, and the others you can figure out for yourself. Okay? So, I need some space here. Whoops, haha. Let me fix this. I grouped these together. That's not what I wanted. Try that again. Oh, almost worked. Haha, uh -huh. whoops. Let's group this together. Okay? That should be good. I just want a little bit of space here. We decided in class today that this should be half of this. And we decided that the slope of our velocity time graph is acceleration. So this equation below becomes final velocity equals at, see, a times t. Plus, and we decided that this term is initial velocity, right? So this is our general equation that comes out of your velocity time graph. Okay? Now, if, if this is A, this is one half of a, okay? And that's times t squared equals final position plus. Now, we're missing the term here. We don't have a t term, okay? But we have our term that corresponds to the t squared. We don't have a term that corresponds to t, so I'm just going to write 0t, because that term is missing, plus, and today, no, two days ago, you decided that this last term, that's your c term in this quadratic equation, your c term it's measured in centimeters, so it's got to be a position at zero seconds, okay? And this term here that's really small, it's missing, is actually v naught. And we did try to make our initial velocity zero. So... This is the general form of the equation for your x versus t squared graph, your x versus t graph. Notice it's a quadratic. Makes sense because it's a parabola. That graph's a curve. And this here is the general form of your velocity time graph equation. All right? Thanks for watching. Have a good day.